Hi you guys, thank you so much for watching this channel. My name is Sierra and I am the Thrifted Planter. So today I thought I would do a elephant ear bulb planting video. Um, a lot of you guys really love the elephant ears that I grew last year and I get a lot of questions about um, care and when I started the bulbs and how did I start them? So I thought that I would do this video for you guys just to show you what I did last year um, and how I got mine so big. So this is just gonna be part one of a culmination of videos of growing um, elephant ears through summer and from spring, summer, and fall. So from potting until dig up in fall. So this is just part one. And this is where we will plant so make sure that after you watch this that you keep an eye out for the next video i will post updates of how the elephant ears are doing and if you guys want you can follow along so here are the bulbs that i grabbed i actually found these at sam's club and they are huge look how big they are they are giants these are much bigger than the bulbs that I started last year. Um, and I found these like deep in the back of the shelf. So I was like down on the floor digging, looking for the biggest bulbs. So let's go ahead and cut these guys out. These are the Magnum size bulbs. Let me cut this off so you can see. So these are the Magnum size right there and this just gives you some care tips on how to plant these how they grow but we're going to talk about that anyway all right so let's cut these guys out and i actually brought a measuring tape so we can measure them because they are huge and i just need to know how big they are come on all right so here, oh my gosh, look at this. This is huge. It's already got some growth up here. I can see some green poking out. You see that? Huge. So sometimes with elephant ears, um, people, including myself, struggle to find which end is the end that should be planted up. This one's kind of obvious. It's this right here. See that green growth? That's where you would want to plant this upright in the pot. Down here is where the roots will come out of the sides of the bulb. Um, there's also some nodes here. This will actually form more um, branching upwards, more foliage from, from the sides, but the roots should come out around this area. So they all three have, um, looks like they have a protrusion. This is where the foliage will come out, the main stems. They also have growth along the sides where more uh, stems will come out, more foliage. But they, these are all super huge and they're heavy. These have to be at least three pounds. All right, so let's go ahead and measure. Let's do this, let's see if this will look better. This one is seven inches long. This one is seven and a half inches long. And this one is eight inches long. Eight, seven and a half, seven inches. They are huge. Uh,
So to prepare the pots, I add coffee filters. The coffee filters help to keep in the soil during watering. After I add the coffee filters, I go ahead and I start adding soil. With the pot about halfway full, it's time to add your bulb. Remember, it goes in pointy side up. Pointy side. Tuck it right in there. Once you've got your elephant ear all tucked in, go ahead and fill up the pot with soil. Once you finish planting your elephant ear, it's time to water it in. I typically water until I see water coming out of the bottom. This is the first water and I do not water um, this fully until I start seeing growth above the soil. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to rot your bulb by keeping the soil too wet. So you've got all your bulbs planted. Now what do you do? Well, you wait. You watered it in, that's great. Don't feel like you have to give it a deep watering every week or every other day um, until you start seeing that growth above the soil. The reason being is because if there's no fo foliage, then there's no way for the plant to photosynthesize and use up that excess water in the soil. Um, that's a, the quickest way to rot a bulb is to keep it in soaking wet soil. So just be mindful of that. Each person's home and environment is gonna be different. So depending on where you live and what it's like in your house or if you're growing yours, you know, pot it outside, depending on what your zone is, or you're growing in a greenhouse, in a greenhouse it's going to be a little bit different. So just pay attention to the soil. Also, don't be like me and try to like dig down and see what's going on under there. Just know if you are, you know, properly keeping it moist, not wet, that there likely is something going on under there. Um, they start putting out roots, you know, first. So yeah anyway so this so the, the magnum elephant ears that i bought are hardy in a zone 8 through 11 which means that it's important for me if i want to have a significant amount of growth at the time that i'm going to pop them up or replant them outside that i start them now so today is february 27th my last frost date is may 10th so around may 10th and a little bit after is when I'll start um, transitioning them to uh, be outside um, because I'm keeping them in my house they're going to be used to indoor lighting they won't have any resistance to the sun 
pretty much. So if I put them straight out in direct sun, they're gonna burn. So that's why it's important to make sure that you transition properly and at the right time, because if you put them out too soon, you know, they can be bit by frost, so. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I answered some questions um, and I hope I encouraged you to try and grow elephant ears for your garden this year. Um, just to backtrack, soil wise, I use ProMix soil in the red and black bag. You can use just about any soil you want. I wouldn't use cactus soil. Um, it's too sharp of a drainage for elephant ears. They like the soil to stay moist, but not wet. Um, sunlight i would give them bright sun they don't necessarily need to be in full sun right now since they're just bulbs but that sunlight the warmth from that and then the warmth from the room helps wake those bulbs up let's see watering do one good full pot watering at the initial planting and then i would just spot spot water throughout until you actually see growth above the soil you want to make sure that soil is moist not wet okay and the last thing fertilizing you don't need to fertilize it until it actually is putting out growth and i think i mean they're pretty much like they take care of themselves you know you just put them in the pot that first water and then wait if you see that the soil dries out a little bit on the top go ahead and um you know use a watering pitcher and water it a little bit but i would not water until water comes out of the drainage holes that's probably a little bit too much but all right so leave me some comments in the comment section um don't forget to subscribe and like and share and i'll see you in the next video bye